Hey Scorpio, welcome to your October 2024 weekly reading. It's gonna be a reading from October 7th until the 13th. I hope you're doing well. We're just gonna go ahead and get started like we always do. Now, of course, if you want to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. And I think your spidey senses is telling you something here, Scorpio. I, I, I just saw the King of Swords and the Moon card. So let's see what's going on. You pulled the King of Cups here for the overall energy. Well, here you are, Scorpio. I feel showing up with this King of Cups. Let's see. You pulled the Temperance and you pulled the Nine of Cups here. You pulled the Eight of Swords here in the future position. Okay, this card doesn't surprise me that it's coming out here. It's very important. It actually is the it actually is Jupiter and Gemini in astrology, and this week specifically, we're having Jupiter come retrograde in Gemini. So, what I think this Eight of Swords is is here for you in the future, because I read the cards from all angles, right? Sometimes I'm like, yeah, this Eight of Swords, I feel like, yeah, it's like you know, get out of your head or like be careful, right? But I also see it too in like many other ways, and I think here with this Eight of Swords, what's what's being brought up for you this week is really you questioning your beliefs and getting down to like the bottom of like what's true for you or seeking out those deeper truths uh, that you could be looking for, that you could be wanting to re-examine here. And it's one of those processes, the Eight of Swords, it forces you inward. Jupiter and Gemini, retrograde, retrogrades force you inward. You go inward with them, right? And this person has a blindfold on and it's Jupiter and Gemini. And it's like they're, this person's like almost being forced inward to look at their thoughts, their ideas, their beliefs, right? Their mindset, their truth. So we'll see more here when we clarify, but let's pull the rest of your spread. You pulled the Ace of Cups here for your advice this week. And I think also too here, Scorpio, you know, temperance is about the balancing out of extremes. Your card is before that, right? The death card is before the temperance. After the death card is the temperance. And the death card can bring extremes. And the death card is your archetype. And so I think this is you, especially with the solar eclipse in Libra and your 12th house, the spiritual house, the, self of, the house of self-enlightenment or self-undoing, right? But also with Venus in your sign, right? I think this is you really balancing out the extremes. I think this is you also learning here a lot. Now I'm just I'm just kind of speaking broadly right now. I'm being lofty with with lofty with the reading right now, but I'll get more specific here in a moment. But I think there's a big emphasis here on you learning and understanding and integrating wisdom here from your past experiences. You balancing out the extremes here, and ultimately where I feel like this is taking you is to self enlightenment. But the nine of cups being in the challenge, that's where. The challenge is, is finding that sense of self-enlightenment. And I say that because the Nine of Cups does connect to the Hangman, which does connect to Pisces, which does also connect to Jupiter, and Jupiter and Pisces is the Nine of Cups. So there is this energy of like you trying to find that emotional, spiritual peace and serenity here and fulfillment and healing and restoring of things here. Some of you could be healers, King of Cups, the Temperance. You have the Four of Wands here in the outcome. So you're moving in a successful direction with the Four of Wands here. And I think things are going to be coming more, more, more and more clear to you on how you can create things and define things for yourself. Pluto's coming direct this week, which is your ruling planet. That's really going to help you of how you can go about creating your desires here and building your desires. And the Four of Wands is when you do build and create your desires where you get started in that process and it feels very empowering. So I like the direction of this reading. I don't really sense here that this is going to be a bad week for you. Now, you do have free wills or whatever you do with your free will, it could be a bad week. But if you're focused on what you need, what you're needing to be focused on and having a good mindset and being positive, I think it'll be a great week here for you, even with this Eight of Swords being here. You pulled this water element card, it says sensing here. And I picked that up in the very beginning of the reading. I was like, your spidey, your spidey senses. Water element does it with intuition, sensing, right? It also deals with healing, spirituality, introspection, reflection. It deals with depth, right? Depths. You pull this Metox card. It says repairing the mind, body, and spirit here. And I think there's healing going on here. 
it's for all of us. I think that <laughs> the solar eclipse being in the south node is the restoring of things more personally and spiritually in your life. Not so much the north node, which is the external things that are changing. It's more so the internal dynamics changing. And that's the water card, right? The, the, the inward spiritual energies here. Like I said, some of you could be healers here as well. This me talks card. You could be healers and guide or healers or a guide for other people, especially with that King of Cups. It's like the active healing that's in motion, right? To heal or guide or, you know, care for others. So there's a lot here to break down. I know I'm all over the place, but I'm about to I'm about to connect it all like I always do. You pulled this dream big card, dream with your heart. So very evident, straight to the point. I feel like spirit's wanting you to dream big, dream with your heart. And for the ones that keep asking me, oh, why is he looking off into the distance? He looks distracted. I'm looking at my camera monitor specifically when I'm looking at the cars to see if they're focused. So, and I'm also channeling too, so I'm picking up information. But I think at this time, spirit's wanting you to dream big um and to not hold yourself back that's that eight of swords i feel here in your future position this is like really questioning these deep beliefs that you could be having that you could be blind to that are holding you back and this is this week with jupiter making its retrograde sextile chiron chiron does deal with our, our wounds and the wounds that need to be healed so that way you can flip our weaknesses into strengths and it's in aries and it deals with our sense of self our authority our uh, assertiveness our self-determination our bravery our strength our courage our identity our sense of self and so I think you're re-examining these deeper beliefs here on a deeper level and finding deeper truths. And these truths will set you free. Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of freedom. They will set you free to be able to finally create and understand and identify how you can overcome the blockages, but also how to over but also how to identify and create here finally what you want to create. So and I think this is what's gonna help you here, like really find. how you can grow and expand here into your dreams with this dream big card because that's that nine of cups here in your challenge here as well nine of cups is belief i always look at the nine of cups as like the law of attraction card or manifestation card it's like energy doesn't lie that's the nine of cups so if you have limiting limiting beliefs or you have subconscious un unconscious blocks that are blocking you from abundance you can show up any way you want but if that energy is there you're not going to be able to get you're, you're not going to be a match to your actual desires of what you really are trying to create if that makes sense so like say for instance if you're always well i don't have a great example right now so i'll come back in a moment but I, what i want to get to my point is with this nine of cups is that it's the law of attraction type of energy and and it is about your belief because it's jupiter it's jupiter and pisces and pisces also deals with believing in our own like vision believing in our own ideals and also believing that things are going to work out for us right and the ability to be able to surrender and have faith and to expect for whatever our manifestations are to show up but it's in the challenge and so ace of cups is your advice ace of cups is saying become that emotional energetic match to your desires because the Ace of Cups is just like a feeling, like putting yourself in that feeling energy of like what it is that you want to attract. Also, too, I think it's very important for you to focus on filling up your own cup here, Scorpio. I was just saying this in the Libra reading that the solar eclipse and Libra that we're having, this is where, you know, we have to like rebalance the scales and see like where we're putting too much energy into things that is making things unbalanced. And since this, since it's the Libra Aries axis, it deals with self and your relationships, to other things. It could be relationships or your relationships, to other things. Or how other things affect you, right? So it's about f figuring out the balance. And I think here the Ace of Cups is saying for you to focus like on your own cup, filling up your own cup, focus on your own emotional needs at this time, prioritize yourself, your healing, 
and I think that's what's really going to help you here because I've almost kind of sensed you here you here like needing here Scorpio to like go within so that way you can balance things out with the temperance right so that way you can do that deeper inner work inner healing and you you really getting bound really getting down to the bottom of certain beliefs or thoughts like th like mindset beliefs attitudes that could be holding you back eight of swords from being able to really show up in a more powerful way or more uh, more assertive way and i see you starting to find those things unravel those things unbound 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 yourself from those things or unbind yourself from those things which is offering you more freedom for it once to explore and create and do as you please so let's uh clarify this reading you do have the two of wands here in the position of something that you're uh, unaware of the two of wands is my card of just when we have our eyes on something it's like we need to be self-determined and bold and take the lead but that's what's trying to happen but i almost kind of see like it's like you could be struggling with with that so let's let's take a look here clarify this king of oops shit clarify this king of cups here for your overall energy you pull the ace of swords i think this is the week overall where you're getting more clear ace of swords you're getting more emotionally clear but you're also setting a newer intention here that you're going to want to devote yourself to right that you're going to want to commit to Clarify the temperance. You have the six of wands here. And I think you're doing well right now, Scorpio. Six of wands. All right. Six of wands is becoming the type of person you want to be, right? Stepping into that. And you could be you could be starting to see some reflections of things confirming that to you. But this is also just about, you know, just, rem just committing yourself to keep doing that. Like stepping into the person that you want to be. There's a lot to learn, temperance, but I feel like this is something here that's going to help you. That's going to help you grow. So you can definitely be teachers, guides, educators, uh, healers here. And I think right now, Six of Wands of Temperance, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, you're being encouraged here to really devote yourself to your practice or devote yourself to your mission or your purpose. Right, and, and use those gifts, use your abilities and skills here uh, to help to help uh, to help the collective clarify this nine of cups in your challenge. You pull the two of swords, clarify the eight of swords. You pull the emperor here. I knew it. I knew it. I think your challenge at this time, two of swords, nine of cups, is you know I you could be dependent on other things right now. I think you could be dependent on other things at this time to bring you your sense of emotional and spiritual fulfillment. But that's like the, the now's the time though to be like, no, like I can do it myself. Like I can, I can start taking things into my own hands here. And what I, what, me saying like I knew it, this Eight of Swords Emperor, because I said the Eight of Swords is Jupiter and Gemini, and I said Gemini, Jupiter and Gemini, sextiling Chiron and Aries. The Emperor is the archetype of Aries. So here it is in the future, Jupiter and Gemini and Aries energy here. It's like having to really, Jupiter being a Gemini, reflect and look and see what beliefs are true and not true and which ones are, which ones are stopping you from being able to show up and participate fully, right? That's an alignment with your truth. And with the emperor here, it's like having to look within Chiron and Aries and see where am I holding myself? What are the things holding myself back that are not allowing for me to step fully into my authority, emperor, fully into my confidence, fully into my self-determination, courage, strength, bravery. That's what you're unraveling, I feel, here this week. Clarify the four of wands. And it's all in the astrology, too. Uh, 
So, and I'll be doing the astrology video for this week. And then if you watch that and look at your reading, you'll probably be like, this makes total sense. Clarify the four wands and the outcome. You pulled the five of cups here. I finally feel like you're being able to get and create what it is that you've been wanting to create. And finally getting unstuck from the five of cups energy, from the disappointment of not being able to create what it is that you've been desiring. Clarify the two of wands. You have the Seven of Wands in the position of something you're unaware of. Clarify the Ace of Cups. You have the Empress here. Yeah, the Empress is saying take care of your overall emotional and spiritual well-being and to prioritize self-care, self-love, right? And give yourself what it is that you need, right? And don't let external Nine of Cups, Two of Swords in the challenge, external things be the only source of things that fulfill you. And I think here the seven of wands, two of wands also is saying again, like to something that you may be unaware of here is that you need to be aware of is like, I feel like spirits really wanting you to be more assertive and confident and brave and step more into being self-determined, believe in yourself, seven of wands. And, you know, this is a lot of independent energy here being autonomous, like really taking things into your own hands. I'm not saying you have to be brash with this whole process, right? And cut everybody off and like not, not cooperate with people and all that. No, it's just like understanding like where the balance is off, right? If it's like, okay, I can, pro I, I should be doing this for myself, right? And I can't be wrapped up in things that's taking me away from that. But I do feel by the end of the week, it's like you're embracing that feeling of more freedom. And also you could even be accomplishing things here as well that, that are empowering you here empowering you here empowering you here with the four of wands but also like things you could be celebrating too uh, so you pull this orange blossom card orange blossom jellyfish it says transparency sensitivity surrender and illumination here so i think you're being encouraged here to be transparent transparent this week i think that's that eight of swords like sometimes Transparent is, 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 is thinking what it, speaking what it is that you're really thinking in moments when it's needed and emotionally being vulnerable in the moments of when it's needed. And you also pull the sensitivity card or it's a sensitivity surrender. Yeah, and I kind of feel like like letting the world in, Scorpio, like letting the world in. Sometimes Scorpio, you can hide. I have a lot of Scorpio. I have a Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. I know the Scorpio energy. Sometimes you just want to be in your cave. Sometimes you want to hide and kind of spy on people and look at people. <laughs> but I think here, it's like you're being encouraged here to like show up like, because you're a powerful sign and you have a lot, you can have a lot of control or you can have a lot of power and influence in the world, right? And I think that's what the spirit's wanting you to do and focus on and to not, you know, shy away or hide away like you know s step fully into the things that you want to step fully into and don't fear the opinions of others of others or the judgments of others you pull this discipline time or discipline card it says time here so i also feel you know this week you could be maybe there's deadlines here this week or there's deadlines coming up or there's just things in your on your mind that you know you're in a time crunch about i think spirits want you to be disciplined here this week he also pulled this explore love create the only thing that holds you back is you and that's what i was kind of saying so yeah and i already feel here scorpio that you're you're very wise temperance six of wands you you have the knowledge the wisdom the experience the skill the talent it's just about devoting king of cups ace of swords devoting yourself to something or staying devoted to something here that's an integrity with what your truth is and maybe this week really having to maybe reanalyze some things relook at some things about certain beliefs here that could be holding you back from stepping from being fully from stepping into being fully empowered or fully showing up 
and some of you may be needing time here to reflect and be alone, right? So that way you can come back or bring things back into balance with inside your inner world. And that's what's gonna lead you to freedom and celebration and accomplishment for once. So that's what I got for you, Scorpio, in your weekly reading. I appreciate you for watching. If you wanna book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and also hit the thumbs up button uh, if you like the video. Otherwise than that, Scorpio, I'm wishing you the best and I'll see you in your next video.